Hello everyone and welcome to this week's status report. So in this one we're going to be focusing on the weekly status reports that the devs release for Daisy Standalone, letting us know how development is going and what features they plan to introduce and stuff like that. Also I will be covering uh, some stuff that has been uh, going around uh, the Daisy forums, uh, so that's not in the status report but stuff uh, that some of you might be interested in. So let's get started with the animal slash infected AI. If you've been keeping up with my experimental videos, then you probably got to see a glimpse of the new Animal AI that was released in the first experimental release of uh, 0.53 and they did want to let us know that work continues on that. Also they did release uh, these three GIFs which you can see uh, the different animals and how their AI uh, has kind of changed. Also moving down to uh, AI changes for the infected, uh, they do plan on redesigning those and also introducing proper stealth gameplay and evasion in order to survive against the infected and they said especially in urban environments so that's pretty cool can't wait until we see some of that in and kind of get to test it out let's move on and see what else we have all right so we did also get a little update on the new render uh, which they did say is expected to merge over to the stable branch in the coming months nothing too specific there but work is being done on that. The new render will also allow the engine team to start work on bringing newer DirectX supports. Going on to audio, they are working on improving and redesigning the audio and once that's ready to go it will allow the team to also uh, fix some issues like the global sounds. Uh, so when you're in game and you hear uh, like someone eating and there's actually no one next to you, uh, that's a global issue and that's a global sound uh, they are trying to fix. We did also get a little bit of info on what will be happening with the V3S and future changes to it and they said quote once vehicle inventory support makes its way to the stable branch we will begin to be able to see multiple configurations of the V3S and their potential cargo spawning across Trenaris. Now that actually concludes uh, the status report portion of this video, but since it was such a small status report, I did want to include some things that the developers have been posting over on the DayZ forums uh, late last month and what's been posted so far this month. And to start us off, we have a developer post about new zombie animations. They did also post a video in which you can see what those look like, but basically zombies will react uh, to the hit. So instead of just having zombies stand still when you hit them, uh, they will now have a reaction uh, to the hit. And you can see that better in the video that will be linked uh, down in the description. We do also have the M65 feel jacket, which I talked about in the past, and it looks like that's now finished, and hopefully we get to see that in game soon. The next developer post on the forums talks about zombies and also this one is showing off a new zombie uh, doll which they will be able to use and dress up in different survivor gear. So not only will they be able to dress the zombies up and have uh, you know visual variety with the zombies, uh, it also won't impact uh, the performance when players uh, see large amounts of zombies at once. They did also say that this creates an opportunity to introduce some degree of variety to the zombie bodies. So we have here an example of that, you can see uh, that's kind of their uh, template that they have right now and that they shared with us on the forums. And then finally we have a new gesture that will be coming in and that is uh, the salute so that will be added into the game as well. Uh, and that kind of wraps it up for us. So I hope you enjoyed this. A little bit of a different take on this week's uh, video. So not only did we cover uh, the status report, but also some of the stuff uh, that gets posted every now and then over on the forum. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more Daisy standalone content. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.